Malik Kuchiman and Irene Ragozini. This should be good. <laughs> you know what gets me really excited? Seeing Lindy Hoppers that have a passion to be themselves within the acceptable boundaries that define the swing genre. It's really easy to be against anything traditional to draw attention to oneself, but it's really hard to be different and respectable at the same time. It's almost easier to just be rebellious because then people can just write you off. But if you're good and respect the foundations that were created by other people, I would say it is more intimidating to be yourself because people will often spend more time comparing you and your ideas to more popular styles that everyone is used to seeing. It doesn't at all mean that those popular styles are fundamental to the swing genre. It's just that they're so popular that they become fundamental in the eyes of the public. It ain't fair, but it is what it is. I want to see how these two are able to disrupt the stylistic patterns that we've become so used to seeing in swing routines. More importantly, my hope is that they make us have to pay attention to them and not ignore them. But before I jump in, I just want to say thank you to all the Patreon supporters for supporting this channel, along with the Street Smart Swing members. If you guys want access to my entire catalog and get my personal feedback, make sure you check out the link in the description. For now, let's take a look. I tried my best to not scrutinize this performance based on conventional choreography. 
Of course, it's hard to do that, but I feel ultimately like I was able to do it. Let's just say this routine had just enough of those moments that disrupted the patterns I'm used to seeing. And for that alone, this is a big win for these two. One of the aspects that differentiated this performance from all the monotony is how they were just able to posture their upper body when doing solo jazz. They are literally standing straight up and down and not aggressively showing the audience the swing note. Most of the time, dancers bend their knees and show the, the vertical groove of the music. They didn't do this at all and were somehow able to still make their movements delayed enough to fit the swing music. Now, of course, it's more comfortable for followers to bend their knees in order to make uh, like rock steps and triple steps feel natural, but Irene just minimized her bouncing to somewhat mirror Malik and it works. The one thing that I like the most about this routine is that Malik has the full capability to smooth out his movements, to make them seem more polished, but he doesn't do that. And I love it. I can understand how the original and second generation of swing dancers may have struggled to understand how the technique worked on a more fundamental level, hence why many of their movements seem more rigid. Even though us modern dancers may be more enlightened in terms of technical understanding, I love how Malik pays no attention to that aesthetic. Instead, he mirrors a style associated with a time we would consider bad technique. It's funny how we say that when all of our modern moves are based on the old moves. This again, highlights how ingenuity seems to be more prevalent in dancers less focused on polishing someone else's original moves. That's a different talk for a different video. I really like these moments where they just simply disconnect, face each other and start dancing. <laughs> it's like they're saying, hey guys, you know, it's not illegal if we do this move. Even those moments that feel familiar seem new because the overall tone of the routine has shifted from how polished and logical the movements look to really how surprising and indiscriminate they appear to be. One thing I do notice is Malik overshadows Iran just a little in terms of eye appeal. This may have to do with the slight differences between their two styles, but you know, his style is just a little bit more flashy, but either way, she still made it work. And because of this little disjointed nature, I feel this routine kind of represents the beginning of a new story, not so much the climax of it. I can't wait to see how they improve their unique style together. For me, the tone of this routine really taps into the spirit of the original dancers when I watched those old clips. They have really captured the essence of that and I love it. What did you guys think about this routine? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.